But the girls' final coming up, we'll run through that start list. Kuchin Headland A will be uh, in the northern position there, position one, Newport, team A, Burley Heads. They're away. Man, Wanda, team A for Manly, North Bondi, team A, North Fifth, ones to watch here, and the fried eggs of Southport. And once again, this is the open female board rescue final. And uh, out and about, the Maroon star there. What a great start from Georgia Miller. Yeah, just aggressive straight off the start and getting into her work. And look at these swimmers here. Georgia Miller, obviously. Nomi Scott's going to be tough. Uh, De Wanda were good. Good comeback for them. Talon Pascarek in there swimming. Brielle Cooper there for Burley. And then, um, yeah, Newport did a really good comeback. They, they're a team that paddles really well together on the way back as well. If they're close enough, they can maybe give it a shake. But And the South, close enough, they're good enough, the Southport girls. We know it's uh, the sisters there of, uh, of Morgan. And, uh, and sister there coming through as Brody as well, that they can fly and motor home. But uh, leg number one at the moment, and look at the dominance here of BMD North. This is our current Australian surf race champion of Georgia Miller, just uh, doing what she does best. Yeah, Georgia Miller, Nomi Scott, right next to each other. And said, get off your feet as quickly as possible and get into your stroke if you can. And Miller going about it the right way. And look at them, the stroke for stroke here, Manly and Northcliffe. Great battle. This is a really good battle. And what they're doing, they're giving their board palers every opportunity. If they can get their hands up first, and likely they will, you've got obviously that of Harriet Brown then heading out as well with that of our Ella Garrick. Potentially might get a little bit of luck and sneak out. May get held up. Time will tell. But uh, at the moment, they're putting everything on the line and looking for the perfect race. We spoke about three parts to the race, and every part needs to be perfection if you want to. How hard is it to win an Aussie medal? How hard? It's hard. And these two girls have really rocketed away from the rest, and they've taken it up. Look at Naomi. Scott She's taking a two inch really in Scott. Yeah. Um, and these two uh, really charging. And if you get a little bit of a zoom out, you'll get an understanding of what they've done to the rest of this field. Going to be very tough for the rest to catch up from here, you'd think at the moment. What I love about this, it's confidence in Amy Scott as well. Heading into this, obviously, a surf race come Sunday, the open female surf race, but really taking it to that of uh, Georgia Miller. Here's the, uh, the 12th round now for the girls going out, isn't it? That's the medal round now, that last 15, 20 metres. Really dig deep when you can't, you know, can hardly roll your arms over. There you go. Far left hand side. That's Naomi Scott, Manly, up and one. And Ella Garrett over to Ella. Harriet Brown now. Look at this. Gee, she looks fit, Harriet Brown. Yeah, Harriet goes in. And then, just looking to see. Well, Manly. Missed it, missed ooh, the read. Ooh. So, yeah, that was a massive factor there. Ella Garrett, I don't think she saw uh, Nomi put her hand up. And so, a bit more time on the line waiting for it. Oh, it does hurt. Every, you know, seconds, seconds at a premium there. North Bondi come out now, Wanda as well. And we can pick up that uh, the Kujan there as well. We're up uh, Burley. There's Mobile Park, I think, was in third. There's Wanda now in uh, potentially fourth there. But look at this, there's Harry Brown. Back, getting held up on that, that short break. How much would she get held up? This is this is the opportunity now for the other girls to make a move. Oh, she puts the hammer down, Harriet Brown. Next one needs to get through. Get through the next one. It might hold up the rest of the pack. And what about that, Harriet Brown? Yeah. Through one more and then oh. bang. Oh. And Manly cops one of the back shoots. So, Nomi Scott gets to the can first. And, and, and maybe it wasn't Ella Garrett's fault. Maybe there was a wave there. She couldn't see her hand up. But they're the little mistakes, the little things in an Australian final. They just get magnified. And that's all a team like Northcliffe needs in, uh, in Brown and Miller to make you pay. Little one percenters. And there you have Harriet Brown. And yesterday, their board relay, I watched that down there live. It was a masterclass performance. To win by approximately 150 metres in open field that was there. These girls are along with uh, Hannah Scully as well. And once again... They're on song here again for a masterclass performance. Not there yet by any means, but doing every post to win at the moment. So Harriet Brown comes out now, picks up Georgia Miller. I believe it might be Burley Heads, Mobay Park, far left hand side. Might have snuck around there to second. Look at the pickup here for the girls. Yeah, waves coming. They go wide. And this is a big, big margin. In an Australian final to have a lead like this. Here comes the lift now for the girls. I tell you what, that pickup was as smooth as a 3-8 custard. And look at the girls go now. Little lift up behind the board. This will be a lift. A little run though where they won't come at the top of this one. But they get a good little run. But they, I tell you what, they are clear. Yeah, and now Manly trying to make up um, after that. Little this miss early and, well, still a big chance. If they can get a wave here. We saw it with Alex in the 19s. I think Burley's come off, but it's uh, Lizzie Wellborn made the big move and uh, the girls come through now. So it uh, looks like, as we said, Manly and that of Newport going pound for pound for the silver medal. But out in front, look at this. Oh, trouble. Trouble. Crunch time. One's off. Harriet Brown in trouble. They are far enough in front, but there will be a little bit of panic stations for Brown. A <laughs> little bit of panic stations for Brown. 
And that's the guillotine of the North Kira Shore. Well, brother. yeah, they're going to be OK. I think they'll come through. It's not 1987. You're not going to get DQ'd for losing contact now. <laughs> They're going to be safe. But Newport paddling uh, Love the brilliantly. Rugby. We Love knew they were probably the best team um, when they're on the board together. Um, coming home. Look at the girls. They're, they're, this is the best team on the beach. And after, oh, he may come Oh, uh, yeah. They're not there yet. Newport may come through, but it's all smiles out in front. They are Australian champions for 2022. The BMD Northcliffe girls, well done. Georgia Miller and Harriet Brown hugs all around for the battle for second place. Manly and Newport. Manly, oh, one coming through. Burley trying to come through as well, but it's still Manly, Newport. Get off time. Get off time. I like the look here of our Manly. Oh, she's down. Oh, she's up. She's about. Manly, Naomi <laughs> Scott going out. Go, you good thing. Oh, wow. Oh, hugs. Big hugs. Wow. What a great moment. Girls are loving it. And yeah, Manly, wow. Newport in third. So good together. Wellborn and Leferay. Oh, Naomi Scott and Ella Garrett. Great paddle from Ella Garrett. Great swim from Naomi Scott as well. But our champions was that of uh, Harriet Brown and Georgia Miller. That's, I believe, their third gold medal. Third gold medal, and it's Friday. And it was comprehensive, wasn't it? Like, in the end, obviously, they lost contact there for a little bit, but it was uh, there was no dramas there. And so we're going to throw it down on the beach to Candace with your winners from the Northcliffe Club. I'm here with an elated Georgia Miller and Harriet Brown. Girls... Congratulations. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. That's so exciting. We love racing together. And um, yeah, we actually raced together at Worlds in, in 2018. And that's, that was the last time we paddled together. So to take this on out, we're just so excited. And um, yeah, thanks to VMD Northcliffe for getting us here. And um, yeah, thank you so much. From the heat semis to the final, you just got better and better. Yeah, our heat was, uh, we were so close to even just making it through to the semis, but um, we learnt a lot and we were even learning, like even on the line, we were coming up with new tips that we were going to do out there. So it kind of all came together a little bit stressful with the nose dive there, but <laughs> luckily we had a little bit of time. So when you nose dive, what's, what's being said between you both? Oh, we were just like trying to shuffle back on the board, but didn't quite get the nose up. And um, we always said today that we just had to, one of us had to hold on to the board. So it was so lucky. I just had the handle and we jumped back on and had enough time to get over the line. I know you want to win individual events, but is it the team events that you just absolutely love winning together? Oh, definitely. I think that we race individuals all year and there's so much emphasis on the, our individuals and we train together every single day with Floody at Northcliffe. And um, I think to just race together at Aussies, it's just, it's, there's no better feeling. It's just, it's so good. So what's left on the program for you both? Look, we're done for the day. So we'll um, go home and rest and recover and then see what's on tomorrow. We're not quite sure with the, with the spell coming in. And then um, we've got some individual finals on Sunday and the Taplin as well. So big, big program still to go. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. We're well, both in incredible form. So all the best for the rest of Aussies. Thank Thanks, you so Candace. much. Thanks, Candice. Congratulations. Uh, great.